everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dana Jean Antonelli, Manners and Etiquette Consultant. If you're new to my channel, I am so excited that you're here. Um, in this channel, we talk about manners, etiquette, and anything that can help you become the best version of yourself. And if you are back, welcome back. I'm happy that you're here. So for today's video, I figured we talk about greeting etiquette, how to properly greet someone with grace and respect. So here are seven tips to help you properly greet someone. Number one, understanding the cultural norms. Different cultures have different way of greeting people. For example, in other countries, people will bow instead of a handshake. A lot of European countries would like to kiss on the cheek. So it's important to understand their cultural differences. And it will also show that you respect them enough to take the time to learn about their culture. Number two, make eye contact and show off that million dollar smile. So when you make eye contact for the first time, you actually want to limit it to about six seconds, look away, and then look back. It's not too creepy that you're just staring at them, but you're still maintaining that eye contact. This shows that you're interested in the interaction and that you're happy to see them. Number three, use a polite and appropriate greeting. The greeting you use will depend on situations and the person that you are greeting. Some common greetings include a simple hello or a nice to meet you. Although, did you know that the proper way to actually greet someone is not saying, hello, nice to meet you, but instead you say, how do you do? Sounds a bit old school because it is. It's dated back to the 1800s, but that's technically the etiquette of greeting someone for the first time. Number four, use their name. Using someone's name not only makes them feel special, it also shows that you respect them enough to remember their name. I used to be pretty bad at it, but I've been better. I will meet someone. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Dana, and the person will say, I'm Michelle, and then Michelle, nice to meet you. So I will always repeat their name after they say it, and then I would just forget once we're deep into the conversation. So now what I've been doing is, hi Michelle, nice to meet you, but then throughout the conversation, I will just constantly repeat their name. Everyone likes to hear their names anyways, right? Now if you forget their name, just be honest and simply say, look, I'm so sorry, you know, we were so deep into our conversation that I forgot your name. Could you just please remind me? And that's it. Number five, use appropriate body language. Now, when greeting someone, it's important to use appropriate body language. This includes, again, making eye contact, smiling, standing up if you're seated, and keeping a good posture. So another example, I come from a retail luxury background and we've been told when you greet clients, never cross your arm because it comes off negative, you're not open, you're looking at them like, what can I help you with? Instead, do this or have your hand to your side. It's more welcoming and it's more open. Like I'm here for you, I'm here to help you, welcome. Number six, pay attention to the other person's response. This is important because if they seem disinterested or distracted, it might not be a great time to engage. However, if they seem enthusiastic and happy to see you, then it's a great opportunity to start a conversation and get to know them a little bit better. An example would be, and you're gonna hear me talk a lot about my background in retail. When clients would come in, we would obviously say hello, welcome, and if they're on their phone, we kind of just let them roam around until they're ready to come to us and ask for help. Number seven, end the greeting appropriately. Keep it short and sweet when ending a greeting by saying, it was so lovely to meet you, or have a nice day. Now, if you're in a professional setting, a proper handshake would be appropriate. And there you have it, seven things to make you become a better greeter. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I am so happy that you are here with me and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.